Hey you guys, um, I have something that I've been meaning to tell you. Um, I've been holding this in for so long and I think that it's an appropriate time to tell you guys this. Um, I feel horrible. I feel horrible. Um, but I, I, I need to tell you guys this now. So, um, I'm here to tell you guys that I have a crazy shoe addiction. Oh my god, cheers. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, how was my acting? Was it good? <laughs> Listen, I tried. I didn't I've never taken the acting class, but you know what? After today, I, I might consider taking one. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I have a really bad shoe addiction. I love shoes, but not just any shoes. I love a Pacific designer who name will be given away. In a minute. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I am also really sick. But yes, I decided to bring to you guys a shoe collection, a shoe haul. I don't know what you would call it. I know back in like, what, 2005, they were having like shoe tags. And I'm like way, way behind the game. But this designer means so much to me, even though I don't really know him as a person. Just as a designer in general, he means a lot to me. And so I just wanted to share... <clears throat> Sorry. <sighs> I just wanted to share his creations with you guys, just in case you may or may not have heard of him, right? So, famous shoe designer I am talking about, drumroll. Yes, it is Jeffrey Campbell. <laughs> I love Jeffrey Campbell. You guys don't even understand like my obsession with him and his shoes. Before I had a car, I used to shop a lot. I live in New York City and I used to go to almost every thrift store. Uh, well, at least a pop. I used to go to the popular thrift stores like Beacon and Change and Buffalo. Did I? <laughs> like, <laughs> like Beacon Closet and Buffalo Exchange. I used to go to those thrift stores Monday through Friday, just looking through items. Yeah, if I look like I'm in a different angle, that's because I had to change my memory card. But anyways, yes. And this was before I even knew who Jeffrey Campbell was. But with that, with my shopping journey, I discovered Jeffrey Campbell and I realized that I was drawn to majority of his shoes. And so I build up quite a lot of his shoes. <laughs> it's so funny because, um, <clears throat> As I'm purchasing these shoes, my mom is just like, where are you gonna put all of these? And I'm in the back of my head, I'm like, I'll find a place. And then, like, my family is just like, that's too much. Like, you don't need that many shoes. And I'm not even looking at them as, like, shoes. I'm just looking at them like a work of art, you know? Like, maybe eventually one day I might wear them. But as of right now, I just need to have them with me because they're just so pretty, you know? So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys my large collection of Jeffrey Campbell shoes. So yeah, if you are into Jeffrey Campbell or if you want to know more about his shoes or interested in just looking at cool extreme shoes, um, keep watching. I do have a disclaimer, this will not have any of his leaders in it so if you're looking for Jeffrey Campbell leader collection I will make a part two video because I have quite a few leaders as well 
but this is not gonna be any of his leaders so you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned until part two of this video to see the leaders i have tried on all of these shoes <laughs> which is really the funny thing about these shoes right i go to a store and look at the size and be like oh my god there's a size nine that's my size i'm gonna get it oh my god it's a size eight and a half that's my size. I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, it's a size 10. That's my size. I'm gonna get it. Like, some of these shoes I have not tried on, but it's a very interesting process for me because I actually tried on every shoe. Um, and I'm so happy that every shoe fit somewhat. There's, there's like one that didn't really like feel comfortable, but I'll let you guys know that um once we get to that shoe i am going to put on i'm gonna show you guys the try on shoe as well so you guys will just be getting my take on the shoe i'm gonna also rate the shoe so i'm gonna rate the shoe from a pain level of i can walk i can walk in the park with these shoes to i need an escort and an uber to get me where i need to go so <laughs> I'm gonna be rating them from walking apart, which is one, to Uber and Escort, which is a five, right? That's the most painful. You can't really do much but get up and sit down to I can go on a jog with these shoes, all right? Now, I did mention some of these shoes, I just tried them on, so that obviously, that obviously means that I did not walk in them. I haven't worn them out yet. But I can just tell by putting my feet in it, like how the rating is gonna be for for walking outside, because I do have quite a lot of shoes besides just Jeffrey Campbell. So I'm gonna be rating this with you guys, so that way you guys, if you ever see it on like eBay or Dolls Kill or wherever they sell Jeffrey Campbells, um, besides his website, if you guys ever see it, you guys will know. Hey, you know, Kokoro told you. <laughs> you're gonna need an escort for that one okay so without all ado I'm gonna stop blabbering I know you guys want to see some shoes I'm here to present you some shoes let's get into it the first shoe that made it da -da -da -da, is this shoe right here so these are the woodies they're just like the basic I forgot the name of this shoe style my god <laughs> but yeah it's whatever that shoe style is and if i remember the shoe style i'll put it somewhere over here too all right and so these have like the little strap on it so you can choose whether you want to put the strap or not um it has like these really cool what do you call this pen pens golden pen design it's leather with wood on it it's 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 just your basic what you call shoe future event is gonna help her out these shoes are really nice um i also have these in a brown color and so they look like this right and if i had to rate them so i have actually walked in these um and i didn't need to hold on to anyone like i could i could do my i can i can walk i think these are a solid two there were times where i was just like if i just do one if i do one thing to my ankle it's going down so yeah they're not bad but you have minor thoughts in your head right really cute perfect for this perfect for the spring the fall perfect for spring and fall for summer it's too hot the leather is just way too hot we're getting a little into the the outrageous stuff not really outrageous but you know some people will call it outrageous right so I have these bad boys here and this is called rock play these are his Havana last collection um, he has a few collection besides the Lita besides the Woody's he has the Havana last and these bad boys made of suede but it also inside have leather and then the heel itself is made of wood and he decided to make this interesting design in the middle and that's pretty much what sold me because I was just like these shoes are so cute I want to see them on my feet <laughs> and so I got them um now if I had to rate them I've never worn them outside but from my try on with them 
I would rate them a solid four. Like they're not horrible, but I know after a certain amount of time, I give it like an hour or 30 minutes of walking in these bad boys, my feet is gonna be like asking for some saviors, like asking for some help. Like I'm done. My feet's gonna give up. That's just it. But yeah, these are so totally cute, and this is just the beginning of like why I love him as a designer. Like so different. Next shoe that we have, my dear, are these. These are part of his Le, Le Blas? Le Biz? Le Biz? Le Biz? Le Biz? I don't know. Anyways, her, she's fond of, right? And she is just really cute. When I saw these, I was just like, oh my God, they remind me of like some future futuristic, like, um, oh my God, what's that movie called? The Fifth Element, futuristic fashion shoe. And I was just like, oh my God, I gotta get my hands on these. I gotta get them, even though they're eight and a half. Yeah, I love that he added the orange inside with the pink, he, he's just so cool. I wanna be cool like him. <laughs> I have not worn them out yet, but I can already tell you guys, you know what, you guys rate this one, right? Just by the looks of it, and I'll tell you what it is in, in the description box below, right? Cause, yeah okay yeah all right so we're getting into our kind of goth little collection from him my next shoe is okay hers is no name but we will find a name for her soon <laughs> just given this as a birthday present and i just absolutely love this shoe i love the t the design to it adding that that touch to the bottom it's just really pretty this is made of plastic with the black lining, it just makes your it makes your feet look like your feet is the most stylish thing, okay? It it just makes your feet look like it's more stylish than you are. Your feet has all the glory. That's why I love Jeffrey Campbell because he does that, right? And then it has this zipper in the back, and it also has like this wood heel, right? So it's like patent leather mixed with wood, mixed with some leather, some plastic. He knows what he's doing. This is a nice, nice shoe. Rating this from a one to five, you know I'm gonna give them a five because this shoe hurts your feet. This shoe I have actually worn out and your girl was changing her heels at the end of the day because these shoes were busting down a girl's feet. Like, let me tell you, these were killing the, the girls. These were just killing them, so. This is definitely an escort Uber type shoe. You don't want to go anywhere unless you're going to like a dinner with someone. If you're used to wearing heels, then maybe you can rock with it, but I couldn't do it. I just, I had to change, so yeah. My next shoe is this one. <laughs> Her name is Skelly. Skelly, Skelly is so pretty. I love Skelly. So as I told you this in the beginning of the video, I bought most of these shoes from like Beacon's Closet or Buffalo Exchange. And Skelly was definitely bought from one of those two stores. So Skelly actually has a strap that was supposed to be with it, but her previous owner decided to cut that strap. So I don't have it, <laughs> okay? I don't have the strap. But Skelly is still, no doubt, a very pretty shoe. She is all white. I got her in a size nine. This is kind of made of some foam-like material. No doubt it's still hard though. The back, you hear that? It's made of wood. And like always, like his material is made of leather. The shoe itself is made of leather. leather. Skelly is actually pretty comfortable. Like, I never wore Skelly out. If I was to wear Skelly, 
I can tell you that the platform is definitely going to take away a lot of that pressure that you feel on your feet. So, I mean, if I size it, you're only getting probably about an inch or two. So Skelly is, isn't that painful. I, I think that this shoe would be like a 3.5. Like, yes, I'll be able to get a two hour walk out of it be before my feet start saying, girl, we're about to die. I am actually looking for an event for, to wear most of these shoes. So if anybody have any cool events coming up, let your girl know because your girl want to wear these shoes more often. She needs to. So that is Skelly. She is so cute. And yeah, she fun. She fun. She cute. We're following the white trend. Make sure my hair is okay. And uh, my tea got stuff in it, so we're not gonna drink the tea anymore. Anyways, the tea was making me feel sick anyway, so. Next, we got this bad boy. Oh, she kinda dirty. She kinda dirty, it's cool. She, she a little dirty. Bad boy name is Warrior. Warrior. Anyways, yeah. This is a part of his Havana Last Handmade collection. And like Skelly, she's a white on white shoe with a kind of foam-like material for the bottom part <laughs> here. And for the heel, it has like this wood part. Now this shoe is very fashionable, okay? She has a pointed toe. You're gonna be walking like clogged kind of because the heel is just so heavy and the weight of the front is just so light that it doesn't really balance itself out so i've tried to wear this shoe out before the heel was just my feet was doing things that it normally doesn't do and i was just like whatever another thing about his leather though this shoe cannot be worn in the summertime this one this one the woodies that I've showed you, please don't wear them in the summertime. They will stick to your feet and they will rub and your little, little corn will grow. Your little toe will, will cry. If you are daring enough to wear them in the summertime, please make sure your feet are protective with the right type of equipment or else you're gonna have some blisters all right and also these are these are mostly like fall shoes i would say when the air is still going through your feet but it's not too much air where your feet is really cold so these are really cute but uh for now these bad boys are going to the side so these shoes are the meekers and there are also the Havana Last. So now these are really cute. They're in this suede texture, but they also have that accent of the wood. They are in this design. They're not just, they're, they're a wedge, but they're not just any wedge. They're a fashionable wedge. They're a wedge with some edge to it. That's what they are. They're a wedge with a little bit of edge to it. So it's you get what I mean? When I saw these shoes, they didn't quite sell me in the beginning. I was just like, they're Jeffrey Campbell, so I do want them, but at the same time, I feel like I might go skiing or something with these. I don't, I don't know. But I got them anyway, cause they Jeffrey Campbell, duh. So <laughs> I got them and I got them in a size eight and a half. So yeah. Next shoe. All right, back to my golf stage. We're gonna have a little fun with this one, right? So these bad boys. I gotta go back so you guys can see it. I love these shoes. I love these shoes. These are <laughs> they're so pretty, so stylish, so. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Guys, I'm tripping. Alright, so these are the Balanced Balanced Balistica? Balistica? Balistica shoes. These are also the Havana Last. And these are just so cute. Like I don't I don't no This is what make it. Like I don't like 
Double it. He's like, and I always think about like what they think about in the shop. Like, they're like, oh, let's make a shoe like that has this to it. No, 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 that's too simple. Let's double that and put it like this. And like, <laughs> this is just so cute. I love the style of this. These are leather shoes with, I forgot what you call this material, but the back is wood, right? Oh, snap, did I rate the last shoe? Let's go back a little bit. I'm gonna rate this one, and I rate it with like a one. You can definitely walk in a park with these. I, I know I forgot something. All right, we're gonna move for it. These, I will rate these a, I haven't walked in these yet, but just from the walk around the house, I would rate these a 3.5-ish, 3.75-ish. They're not horrible. Obviously, that platform is taking away most of the weight, like most of Jeffrey Campbell's shoes, his platform shoes, but I can tell after a while, my feet is going to be like, mama. Yeah, these shoes, after a while, they're gonna be aching and asking for some help. And yeah, but these are so totally cute. We're heading to another fave of mine, of mine. <laughs> these pretty girls here, oh my God. These are showstoppers. These are the damsels. I know this one. I I remember seeing this one on, on Gravy Girl. I, please, I hope I pronounced that right. On Gravy Girl yard girl a gravy girl and i was like oh my god these are so cute i hope to one day own them and there it goes so <laughs> these are a size nine and a half i think that's what they yeah nine and a half and they are a really huge wedge shoe they have like this pretty lace design and they have this part up here where you can just, and then they have like this really pretty lace in the back. I already know, when your girl saw this, I, this was in my hands faster than what I can see. Like, I, <laughs> I'll tell you, I went into the store and all I saw was my hand just go to them and that was it. Like, it, it did not even have to be my size. I was, some of, some of the shoes are literally like that. It didn't have to be my size, but my hands would touch it faster than my brain. So. These were one of those pairs that I was just like, you're mine, <laughs> regardless. Oh, and if I had to rate these, these aren't as, these aren't bad at all. So I would give these like a uh, 2.5. Like they don't hurt my feet. Never worn them out. I'm also waiting for an occasion to wear them out. You know why? Also, I'm 5'3", and so I don't want to be towering over people, even though... I don't really care about towering over people. But yeah, there just need to be taller people out there. <laughs> That's all it is. Anyway, they are comfortable, but I can tell after a good five hours, four hours of just like being on them, my feet are just gonna be like, yeah, no. Okay, but who walks around for five hours? You know, oh. I've done it before. Next, we go back to the browns. We go back to the browns. These are called skates, for obviously reasons. They look like they're about to take off to another world. Like, this was the shoe that I purposely bought just because it just looks like a work of art. Some of these shoes I bought because I'm like, eventually I'm gonna wear them. Like, the damsels. I'm like, eventually I'm gonna wear them this you know like eventually I'm gonna wear these but these I don't think I'm ever gonna wear them out um, they are wearable though they're a wedge of course and they're if I had I'll just get this over with now but I had to rate them from a one to a five they're good two and the only reason why I said they're two and didn't give them a one or well, 1.5 I give them a, a 1.5 the only reason why I gave them a 1.5 is because this part is really thin and it's kind of for me it's unbalanced and so I feel like my ankle can go in any direction which is a little scary for me but other than that they are really you know pretty pretty shoes it's like he threw 
he threw up art on this, you know. Once again, I wonder what does he think when he's in the shop, like what what type of thought process goes in his head, right? And yeah, they're wood bottom with leather top. I don't know if I would wear these for the summertime though. They do have the toe out, but <sighs> leather and heat doesn't go well with my feet, so. For now, they just display. And they're part of the Havana Last Collection. Next! Hey you guys, so I didn't want to fry your brains with too many of my shoes, so I'm gonna make a part two to this part one. The part two will be the second half of this video, and then part three will be my leaders. Um, so stay tuned for that, don't go anywhere. I know you guys see the blue around my lips. I had blue lipstick on before that. Don't judge me. It will change for part two. Love you. Bye.